Same old. Same old. Still messing with junk, eh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what you got? I left the Super Nintendo thing out. I forgot it. So I had some more stuff. I had a few games for a regular Nintendo PlayStation. Yeah. And I forgot them. I don't know if they work. I don't know nothing about them. I know that was yeah, yeah. the hell back. It's pretty bad. And I got one that's newer than those, but I forgot it. Yeah. You got some games. Yeah, there's some. Damn there's some more games in there. I think that's a Sega. You know, what is that? Dream. It's like a, a, a wireless. Uh, there's some more games in there. You have to look at them. There's All a few right. more back in there. And this, I don't have no. This is the one I told you about here a while back. That I don't have no uh, power cable for. Yeah, yeah. But I think everything else is in here. I don't know if you're interested or not. I just well, let's take a look it. here. See I'm all you got. Every day. It's trying to rain on the same. Yeah, a little bit. It's a nice, nice little shower. How much you want for these games? I want you to buy all of them. <laughs> I don't know. You make, well, me, make me a fair price on them. It's fair for you, fair for me. Dollars each. Tessie for. I ain't never even been back in this neck of the woods in Blackshear. You ain't missing much. <laughs> Alright, yeah, 20 bucks, huh? Pretty sure I got a 20 on me. Yeah. There you go, man. I appreciate it. Alrighty. Okay, folks, I just got a package in from a place I have not explored in such a long time, and that place is Mercari. Uh, Mercari used to be fantastic back in the day as far as uh, finding excellent deals all the time. I remember I could log on to Mercari in a day and find five or six good deals for dirt cheap, uh, add some stuff into the collection for, for free by... You know, buying these deals off of Macari, getting them in, and then relisting them and selling these games for what they're worth. Uh, but it is far and few between nowadays to find good deals on Macari. But I found two excellent deals. I got one of the packages in today, so we're going to go ahead and open it. And I got the other one coming in tomorrow. And uh, for what I paid for this, I paid $15 free shipping. This game in this package is worth at least four times that much uh, on eBay. And right now there's only, I think, two or three copies listed on eBay. Uh, this is a sports game to be on the lookout for. Uh, this is right along the same lines as NCAA Football 14, uh, NCAA Basketball 10. 
this is definitely one to be on the lookout for. Um, it is a little bit more overlooked. Uh, if you go onto eBay and um, search NCAA Football 14, it is saturated with copies. There are copies left and right on eBay for that game. For this game, however, uh, you're not going to find as many copies. And it is available on the PS3 and the 360. So I went ahead and opened it up. And it is nice and bubble wrapped. I like that. Fantastic. Uh, the seller was quick to ship. I'm surprised no one messaged the seller and said, Hey, I can't believe you're selling that game for that cheap. It's worth way more than that. Uh, but what we have is eh, a fair condition, but I'll still be able to sell it for way more than I bought it for. And that is NCAA College Hoops 2K8. Uh, if you notice, the, uh, the label art is damaged right there in the corner. But, it is complete. So I'm thinking, right now, I think the lowest listed copy is like $75 for a complete copy, or for, for a copy missing the manual. So I'm thinking I could sell this easily for $64.99 plus shipping. Um, let's see, it does have a... Uh, a GameStop sticker on the spine, and I think that's going to be, yeah, that's easy to come out right there. <laughs> Thank you, GameStop, for not actually placing the sticker on the spine. But let's take a look at the disc. Disc is in really good condition. It's got some smudges, you know, some fingerprints, but, yeah, be on the lookout for this game. Uh, College Hoops 2K8 on the PS3 and the 360. Okay, so I said it was in fair condition. I'm looking at this a little bit further. Uh, I stated that, you know, it did have some some label damage right there in the corner. Actually, it does not. That cover art is in really good condition. That was just some sticker residue. It looked and appeared to be like um, like it had some, some cover art damage. But now that I'm looking over this, uh, we got some... Some sticker residue here and on the front. I'll be able to switch out this case with one that I already have that's in really nice condition. And uh, yeah, this will be a really nice condition copy that I can list on eBay and probably get more than uh, what, what I said earlier. All right, folks, on to the next. Okay, YouTube, it is the next day. I've got another package from Mercari. This one I paid $9 free shipping. The College Hoops 2K8 I paid $15 free shipping. So that's $24 between the two games. I sold uh, College Hoops 2K8 last night on eBay for $69.99 plus shipping. And uh, so this game recoups my money that I spent on both games. I added profit and I get to keep this one for free which is always the goal in collecting for me. This was a PS Vita game that I did not have. I hardly ever find Vita games out in the wild. And uh, I love this series and I have not played this version yet, or this game yet. And we've got Uncharted uh, Golden Abyss. So this was listed, like I said, for $9 free shipping. I snatched it up. And uh, cannot wait to um, to to give this a playthrough. I hope that this game and it should plays on the uh, PS TV, the PlayStation TV. Um, so I'll be throwing this in that and playing on the big screen versus uh, keeping it str uh, strictly handheld. But there you have it, folks. On to the next. All right, folks. It is uh, Monday. I got a package in. Uh, for South Carolina, it says overstock liquidation, but I believe this is coming from my friend Steven. Steven, we know Steven. He's a he's a good guy. Um, he has sent me he has sent me stuff before. We've done trades. Um, Steven's a really do, good dude, but he hit me up and uh, had some a picture of some games. Asked me if I needed any of them. I told him I needed one, but he said he was sending some more stuff, so I don't know what all he sent. 
But we're going to dive on in and take a look. Oh. <laughs> okay, Steven, I see what's up. Um, all right, so right off, we'll go ahead and get, get the game out of the way. Uh, but we've got one I needed for the collection, and that is Killer Instinct Gold. Fantastic. Uh, label's in really good condition. Really clean. Thank you, Stephen. Then the other items he said he was sending. Well, he didn't tell me what he was sending. But we've got some Game Boys. Oh, yeah. All in uh, pretty rough condition. You can take a look at the shell there. Oh, look at these battery uh, contacts. They're all bent up. We got some corrosion down here. And let's see. Yep. Got some more corrosion in this one. But the shell's in a little bit better condition. So we got four of these Game Boys. That one looks like it's in much better condition on the uh, on the inside. No corrosion. Shells in good condition. Um, screen covers all scratched the hell and back, but that's all right. I always change them out with glass screens anyway. Here's another one, and we got corrosion in this one. And then he sent. A Game Boy Pocket. I've never um, done much with the Game Boy Pockets. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the Bivert chip on these Game Boy Pockets is extremely small and incredibly meticulous to install. Um, it takes a real good uh, pair of steady hands to to install the the Bivert chip for that. And then we've got okay PM Studios. I know PM Studios. Um, they are a smaller game company. Um, let's see. They did Horizon Chase Turbo. Um, I reviewed that game. It's a fantastic arcade racing game. And uh, one of the guys that works for the studio company is actually a friend of mine on Facebook. And he's working on a new game. And he released some footage of the gameplay, and it looks awesome. Oh, I can't wait till that's done. I'm, I'm going to try to snatch me up a copy of that for sure. All right, Steven, I'll get in touch with you to see what you want me to do with these Game Boys. But, folks, on to the next. All right, we are back with another package. <laughs> I have a feeling that's, that's all this video is going to be. It's just packages. And uh, we have uh, a trade I made from someone on uh, my Facebook page. And this is coming from James Gradecki. Or Jimmy Gradecki? James, Jimmy, Mr. Gradecki. All right, let's see if we can get into this. The, uh, I checked the tracking on this several days, and it stated it was delayed. I guess Postal Service is uh, running a little slower than usual. But what we have here is another game I needed for the N64 collection. And this, uh, with this edition, I'm down to 40 games. So we've got a nice copy of Road Rash 64. Very awesome, very awesome. Thank you, uh, thank you for the trade, James. And folks, on to the next. Well, take a look at it first.
just 60 bucks? Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, YouTube, we've got a package in. This comes from Special Reserve Games. And they announced, I don't know, last week sometime, that they were doing a, uh, like a back stock inventory uh, blowout sale. They only had so many copies left of this particular game. Uh, they had two different variants. One variant um, is an unnumbered uh, uh, cover. They usually number their covers. This uh, They had some variants that were unnumbered and then they had special edition uh, label variants that were supposed to be sold at some convention or whatnot. They only had 50 copies of that variant. I was trying to uh, get the numbered uh, special edition variant. I put it in my cart and I went to pay for it and it was sold out. I mean just within seconds. So, I was able to get the other, the other coffee. It is pouring down rain, and so you're probably hearing the rain in the background. I do apologize for that, but I got the box open here. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so we got some stickers or something. I don't know. It's been a while since I've ordered from Special Reserve. But you see Sarge the dog there, and then there's some stickers here. Not really sure what that's about, but we got the game here. It is a Switch game. It is their bestseller of 2019. You can still get it on uh, PlayStation Store and the Nintendo eStore or eShop for $19.99. But this is the physical variant or physical version of Messenger, the Messenger. Um, I've seen gameplay on this and it looks so good and so I think this might be one that uh, that I open up and play I, you can look inside there and I'm sure you can't see it on camera but it looks like it comes with a full manual on the inside that's pretty cool I don't know any switch games that have come with full manuals other than like um, special release like limited uh, type games, but there you have it folks um, It is really dead with game hunting right now with the coronavirus going on And so if I'm able to do a little retail therapy here Just to uh, add some stuff to my collection by all means I'm going to and so I'm very happy to pick this up All right folks on to the next all right folks today is Saturday it is like April what third fourth got a package in and uh, this was a trade that I did with a uh, moderator on Reen Beans Discord. And he must have seen uh, my latest video on the Game Boy Collection. He hit me up said that he had a uh, Game Boy game that he didn't see in the collection. <clears throat> and wanted to know if I wanted to trade for it. I was like, yeah, I'm down for sure. So I had uh, some NES doubles that he was interested in, and uh, we made the trade. He also sent several empty Game Boy cases, which is fantastic because I definitely have several games that don't have cases. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these Game Boy cases. And the game is Castlevania II Belmont's Revenge. It's about a $40 Game Boy game. So not too cheap. Definitely happy to add that into the collection. Thank you once again, uh, Mr. Morrill or Morrill. And folks, on to the next.
Okay, folks, so due to coronavirus, uh, game hunting is just dead right now. We're not able to go out to the yard sales, the thrift stores, the pawn shops, and, uh, <laughs> nothing. So what little bit I have found is has been from Facebook Marketplace and uh, some trades done through Rean Beans Discord or people hit me up on Facebook um, or my Instagram. The big pickup of, uh, of the video was the Sega lot with uh, the PlayStation games. Uh, the Sega lot itself uh, was listed on Facebook Marketplace as untested best offer. I messaged the guy and I said, hey, have you had any offers yet? And he said, yeah, someone just offered 40. I said, I'll give you 50 if you go ahead and mark it sold. He agreed. And after he marked it sold, I then asked him, hey, do you happen to have anything else? Any Nintendo, Super Nintendo, PlayStation, etc., etc." I, I went through the list. And he said, yeah, I got some PlayStation games. Well, lo and behold, he has some really good PlayStation games. So we'll go over what I'm selling and what I'm keeping for the collection. All right, so this little stack is what I'm selling. He did have Legend of Lagaya and Drakengard 2 disc only. Uh, there's no point in me keeping those. Uh, they're not complete. I can't, you know, put them up on the shelf with all the other PlayStation games. So those are listed for sale. Um, the little Game Boy uh, Advance lot and the DS lot, I've got Teen Titans 2 and Fantastic Four left out of that. Super Off Road, which is about a $10 to $12, $13 game. And Biker Mice from Mars. I didn't even know that Biker Mice from Mars was out on the DS until I saw that uh, cartridge. And then we got uh, Busy Town on the Sega. So, what is going into the collection? Uh, we'll start off here. This was a controller extension cable uh, for the Sega Genesis. Very nice. Uh, happy to find that in that little bundle. And then we've got um, the trade Castlevania 2 Belmont's Revenge. I picked up the Messenger from um, Special Reserve Games. Got Uncharted Golden Abyss from Mercari. Added these three games uh, off a of trade. I don't believe I filmed Milo's Astro Lanes, but this was a trade uh, that I did. And then Uncharted The Lost Legacy and Rise of the Tomb Raider. Pick those up at the pawn shop. I have already beaten both of these games and they are fantastic, especially Rise of the Tomb Raider. The Sega games that I kept, uh, all complete. We got Haunting starring Poltergeist. That's about a $50 game complete. Then we got Sonic 1, Crystal's Pony uh, Tale, which is about a $20 game complete. I was kind of surprised. And M1 Abrams Battle Tank Simulator Series. Uh, added some Blu-rays into the collection. These were all $2 each, $1.80 after my discount. 
the Purge 4 movie collection is still worth about $20 to $25, so happy to find that. But we got the Purge 4 movie collection, the newest Child's Play, and the latest Halloween. And then the big breadwinner out of, out of the video was Monster Rancher 4. And this is about an 80... About an 80 to 85 90 dollar game complete uh, happy to find that so there you have it folks hope you've enjoyed the content if you have go ahead and hit that like button if you have not subscribed yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell icon so you receive all notifications every single time I upload new content hope you are staying safe hope you are all healthy and I hope you've had a great week I know I have I'm Tata Collector and have a good one